code.org. This is Computer Science Discovery. I'm working on Unit 2, which is that HTML stuff. This is obviously Lesson 8. We're talking about debugging, and we are now on Part 8 of Lesson 8. Check with your teacher before starting on this challenge. So if you're my student, hi. Uh, this is checking with me, I guess. So you can start on it. If not, and you have a teacher, go check with them. <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. This is this page is only partially finished. It has some bugs. Luckily, there are comments that should help you help you to finish the page as the author intended. Do this. Look at the code with your partner and discuss what the page should look like. Work together to finish the page, paying attention to formatting. Compare with another pair to see whether the page uh, pages are the same. Okay. That seems straightforward. That's all the instructions we got. So I'm going to make that disappear. And okay, we're going to check formatting and then bugs. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, look at discuss what the page should look like. Okay, pay attention to the formatting. So what should this page look like? Well, they want this first thing to be the title and the introduction. Okay, it looks like we got that fine list of the seasons whoops i already see a problem here i don't notice any list elements so winter if they want a list of the seasons i'm going to assume they want it like uh the list appeared with the animals a few levels ago and have the whole thing surrounded so have the list be here list of seasons should we number it or bullet point it hmm I'm not sure it says, and I didn't see it up here. Let's just do bullet points. Now I'm already doing something wrong. My li tags need a list tag, right? So I should, I'm gonna actually move this up or delete it, I guess. Fine, we're deleting it. Cause first I'm gonna do an unordered list tag. So we're going to do a bullet pointed list. Now I'm going to include all of this in my list item. So our comment will just not show in our list item, but that way it's still grouped with all the stuff it actually represents. I'm going to back this up and hit enter. And now it's correctly formatted, right? I'm going to put the end of our list. It looks like the end of our list is going all the way to down here. I might make changes to that in a moment, but for now, unordered list end. excellent. So let's see, and li, li, an order list. Oh, let's hit refresh and save. Good. So now we have a bullet point next to winter. And oop, I see another problem. With a paragraph like this paragraph, you always do want to make sure to end your paragraph tags. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops. OK. And now spring everything melts well that's depressing and it looks like we don't have a title here but first i'm going to like i said earlier let's make our list the whole season so i'm going to add that li tag um and cranberry flowers what okay so summer doesn't start till down here so everything melts and the water is drained out so the flowers grow yes okay this makes sense li and then we're going to end it right above summer that's going to be our list item we do need a title let's use this h2 heading size for that and the heading well will it's going to be spring and that is our heading and notice the size has been corrected over here Let's go ahead and do what we did above. We're going to separate this guy out into its own paragraph. So, and what that did, if you notice, I'm going to just delete this tag. It separates out. So now this text has its own little space. It's not bunched with that picture. It gets its own space. All right. And let's see what's next here. Pictures of cranberry flowers. Hmm. All right, let's see this tag. I, M, G, that looks good. S, R, C, that's fine, equals flowers, alt, cranberry, oh, handy. What's, go aha, do you see a flowers over here? I certainly don't. I wonder what type of flowers they want. Ooh, I bet it's the cranberry ones. 
So I'm actually going to delete the whole thing and just start writing in crayon and notice how it pops up. So I want this one instead of typing the whole thing in because I am often going to make typos or mistakes and it has to be perfect. I'm just going to click on that and ta-da, we have a picture. If you did this and it doesn't appear, go ahead and hit refresh and save and hopefully it will show up for you. So that paragraph tags looks good. Okay. And then the end of our LI, I'm going to do some real quick formatting like I always do, just so it appears nicely. So that should be with there, that's there, yep, that makes sense. And because all of this is within our list item, and that's what I'm having it format out. And again, this isn't appearing like that just because of how long it is. If I stretch this out, it's all going to appear indented. Okay, and then let's get this paragraph. And this doesn't matter to the actual code like stated earlier. Whoops, I deleted something on accident. What it matters though is for easeability of a programmer to read it. So that looks great. Now let's do summer. Let's hit enter. I'm gonna start another list item like I've done previously. This list item will be going to fall and that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my list item tag. Whoops for fall and go all the way to the end of fall like this. Okay, that should take care of all those list things. All right, now let's back this up just to get the formatting right. And it looks like we're missing a heading. I'm We're becoming pros because we already know it's in H2 like before. I'm gonna do summer slash H2 and that, yep, and we got a bullet point, excellent. Let's go ahead and eliminate this extra white space. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a paragraph tag here and close this guy off with a paragraph tag. Excellent. Let me hit enter and that's looking good. It's automatically appearing in between indented in these L tags. And it looks like like winter, there's no picture for summer. So we can keep the party right on a going. And next up we got fall. So for fall, hmm. Well, I, we can spot right off the bat. Let me just make sure our formattings are right. Okay. We can spot that we need another heading. Whoops, I think we were doing H2. Yes, we were. Fall. H2, boom. That looks good. Let's go ahead and make put this in a paragraph like we did it previously. And notice this down here is pink, and that's because this tag isn't completed. Pink means, hey, there's an error somewhere above this. All right, that looks good. Let me just fix the formatting. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this space. There's no need for it. Picture of cranberry harvest. Oh, did they not write the tag at all? <laughs> Lazies. All right, let me first get this formatted right. Now, we got to write this whole image tag. So it's I'm going to just reference this guy way up here. It's IMG SRC equals, oops, equals, and then uh, cranberry. And I bet this one is harvest. We already use flowers. So I'm just going to click on it when it pops up. And there we go. It already closed the tag. Remember to have the alt tag. It shows in case the image doesn't load um, or for people, who, uh, it will be read for people who have bad vision. Cran... I'm just going to be creative here and write cranberry harvest. And by creative, I mean I'm not going to be creative. Cranberry harvest. There we go. Slash and end that tag. That looks good to me. And that formatting looks good. Do we end that right? Is there any pink? Nope. And nope. Let's hit refresh and save. And I think we have success. Excellent. And that is actually going to be the end, the end of lesson eight for us. I know, sad to see it go.